buddy John with Thomas Muse Guitars. I built a, a spline fixture for broken headstocks. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this one out. I just finished it and I'll show you how the whole thing works. And uh, I, I will have plans for this. If you uh, leave me a leave me a message in the comments, and I can I can send some plans out to you. But that's basically what it does. It it creates uh, splines in there for uh, or cavities for splines. All right, this one was really broken badly, and there's almost no material here. So a couple of strong splines should be good as new. There's an interesting story behind this. This is going to end up a memorial for the for the guy who uh, who owned it. There's actually going to be a cavity in the back of the body that's going to contain some of the uh, owner's ashes. But they wanted it playable, so I'm going to string it up, set it up, get it all playable first. Uh, so let me talk about this. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. So basically it holds the guitar in several ways. This is adjustable for the headstock angle. And these are adjustable with these things for the width. I covered them in leather on either side. There's just a couple, couple receptacles there for these uh, thumb screws like that. And then at the end there's this piece of kumaru that fits over the uh, over the neck and socks it down and uh, that's how it's held then once it's all in place I put this spacer over the top of the headstock once the headstock is resting on this piece and then I just send a clamp right over all of it. So I sandwich the headstock between these two pieces. And this spacer helps keep these rails at a perfectly even uh, width so that our sled can, can ride in there evenly. Like so. Like so. So it rides in there like that. You see I have a couple of marks there, those are my stops. So it's uh, offset, this sled base is offset. So once I do one side, I can just spin it like that and do the other. Now the distance from front to back is different, so your stops aren't, aren't going to give you evenly spaced slots if that's important to you. Uh, I'm talking about even from end to end. It's going to be just a little bit different. Not a big concern in most cases, I assume. So, there you have it. And uh, I'll show you how it works. Back up and show you how it all works. Again, I can, uh, I can send you plans um, in, uh, in PDF format or SolidWorks, whatever you need. All right, remember, uh, every machine is a smoke machine if you don't use it properly. Peace.